welcome. We wanted to build new shutters for our house. We had kind of the older plastic shutters um, that you see on the left there. Wanted to update them to maybe match our house a little bit better. We have kind of a cottage style house. So we went to the home center and we bought some 1x3 just regular um, pine. This isn't select, um, or I'm sorry, this is select. And we made them about four across just to make it a uh, easy to cut them down from a couple of four by or one by four or one by four by eights. Um, here we are kind of laying out the <clears throat> the verticals um, and then kind of putting lines across there making sure they're nice and straight. The cross braces we're going to put three across there to hold them all together. This is kind of the spacing that we used. I looked at a few pictures of shutters online um, didn't really like what we saw and so we thought we'd make our own and go with this kind of spacing. So put a little bit of glue on these and it was in the middle of summer when it's really humid so we kept them close together knowing that they would shrink and pull apart a little bit. So here we kind of uh, clamp them all up after we glued them and then to make the front look nice and clean we thought we'd screw them from the back. and. The way we did that was flip them over like you see here, drill down through there making sure not to go all the way through the front, and then we countersunk um, each of these holes with the countersink bit, and then the screws that we're using are number eight um, screws, and these aren't even exterior screws because we figured it wouldn't really get um, that much rain behind there. So we screwed these in, these are uh, one and a quarter inch so they don't go all the way through the front. And that's how the final screw screws looked, countersunk down maybe about a, a sixteenth of an inch. And we staggered them, so two per uh, board going into each of the cross braces. And this is how it looks on the front. So pretty nice and clean, and we're going to touch up the edges a little bit next. Um, or this is uh, actually us doing the middle the middle brace last. We did the two end pieces first and then clamped this one and flipped it over. Now here you can see we have kind of a squared off edges and I wanted to ease them over just a little bit and put a little bit of a chamfer on them. So that's what you see here. Just used a hand plane. Um, you could use a router for this but um, I prefer to use a hand plane. I think it's a little bit cleaner and faster. So you can see all the top edges we put a chamfer on those and I think it gives it a nice little, um, it kind of eases it over a little bit. A uh, close up of that as well. We just use a small block plane to put this on. Um, you can see that this one has a chamfer that's a little bit deeper and it um, kind of uh, eases, uh, or it's more in the middle and then a little bit less when it comes down to those cross braces. I think it gives it a nice reveal and I was hoping, um, here you can see kind of the, the chamfer how it gets larger in the middle of each brace and then comes up on each side. It gives it a nice feel and I knew that the sun would catch those chamfers um, and give them a nice highlight when we put them up against the house. There's the chamfer there too, the progressive chamfer. So once we finished them, um, this is how they looked. We did use kind of the size of the, uh, the old ones to dictate the size of these. Uh, we made them a little bit wider. Uh, we thought that was a better look. Not much though, maybe three inches wider. Um, hung them up in the garage and we decided to, this is so we could paint all the sides at once, um, just put a little eye hook in the top. And we chose to paint them with a solid stain. This is a really nice product we get at our local home center. Um, I chose the color ebony, which was a really, really uh, deep black. Um, we just used the, the old screws that were from the other shutters to mount them. Drilled holes right through there and drilled right through the siding. And then you can see here we painted over the screws so they would match. And when we were done, here they are, new shutters. Um, like I said before, we, we like how they match kind of the cottage style um, design of our house and that the highlight really does catch the top of those. All right, 
Thank you for watching.